They're advancing positive health outcomes in populations and communities throughout Michigan. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is the president and CEO of the Institute for Population Health, Loretta Davis. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. What exactly is the Institute for Population Health? The Institute is a private not-for-profit and we provide services in a variety of different ways. Our goal really is to impact the health of communities and populations throughout the Detroit region. Now we do that by providing clinical services in two sites. And these are services that are commonly thought of as public health services. So things like birth control services, sexually transmissible diseases, uh, the testing and the treatment, including HIV testing and treatment. We also have a very strong focus on maternal and child health care and uh, assisting families in becoming more resilient. You really focus on issues, health issues that might be affecting an entire community, not just an individual in hopes That's of correct. sort of if we can cut down on the number of unplanned pregnancies or on the number of STDs in general, we'll have a healthier neighborhood? Absolutely, and health is the key because we really focus on health and wellness and not on sick care. So we do things like screening, health education, preventative services. We know that if people um, have more information, but also if they're given the skills and giving as access to certain things, the outcomes are uh, likely to be better. And we want those outcomes to be better for entire communities and populations. So it sounds like you're sort of out in the community being proactive, helping people, you know, making sure they're getting that yearly well visit, uh, getting screened for what they need to be, that type of thing? Absolutely. Even though we have two clinic locations, we spend a great deal of our time out doing outreach. Most of our HIV counseling and testing is done out in the community in uh, recovery and treatment centers for substance abuse. Um, in, uh, in schools, in various different places, we do our outreach activities. So we don't just sit and wait for people to come in. We actually go out and we find them and we help, we assist them in their desire to be healthy. And you do some home visits as well for certain folks in the population? Absolutely. We have a program called Healthy Start. And so we are really able to focus in on uh, fragile family, families because we want them to become more self-resilient so that they are able to, uh, to raise healthy children, to, uh, to detect things early if there's going to be a problem in delay uh, in development. So we really want to reach families right out during the pregnancy or right after the pregnancy. And hopefully folks already have some sort of an insurance, whether it's Medicare, Medicaid, uh, that type of thing. If they don't, uh, you would be able to assist them to find out if they might be eligible, yes. point them in the right direction to get yes. them some assistance. Yes, particularly in our family planning program, we're very fortunate that we have a grant so that we can use a sliding scale fee there all the way down to zero. But we know that people really need access to the full array of health care. And so when people come in and they have absolutely no form of insurance coverage, we do assist them to, uh, to go onto the computer and find out if they're eligible for uh, expanded Medicaid, the Healthy Michigan Plan, or some other form of insurance. You're going into your third year now. Uh, yes. Have you been growing? Have the needs been changing in the community? Well, the needs certainly have been changing. You know, we started off very large. We started off as a very uh, large organization, and now we've kind of scaled back to a, uh, a moderate size so that uh, we really now can focus in on our mission and the goals that we want to accomplish. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. For more information on today's topic, you can visit IPOPHealth.org. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Loretta Davis, the President and CEO of the Institute for Population Health.